Hey guys, it's Chris Bake with Cheat the Game coming back at you, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Outer Worlds, and we're just going to go over uh, leveling up every single time we kill an enemy, or just clear out a section, or hack a door, or whatever it is we do that gains XP that we automatically go up a level each and every time. I've done these things in the past, and I want to continue it on today uh, in finding where that uh, XP cap is that we have to break and we can find these in the registers also uh, You just got to kind of look around for it a lot of times They're not side by side with the XP and also to reiterate uh, that I tell you to in every single game that you want to get XP is if you have a save file and you've already made it a lot through the game is save that save file somewhere and to go back and start a brand new game because that way your internal XP and your graphical XP will be in sync all the way up to you hit level one or bypass or gain the first level usually after that happens in most games the graphical will recycle back down to zero and you have to go up however your internal XP is still counting up and is not recycling to zero so the best way to find it and the easiest way to find it is to start a brand new game and that way you can find it with the exact value if you don't do it at the beginning of the game you're going to have to do unknown value and uh, that's what we're going to do we're going to start a brand new game and i'm going to show you how to get uh, instant level ups in the outer worlds hey guys it's chris Pate. i want to take a minute to thank god at hacking for sponsoring our channel I'm sure most of you already know who they are, but GH truly is the best place to learn game hacking. Every question you could possibly ask has already been answered there at least a dozen times. When Ray bought the site several years ago, he read through every post and then designed a game hacking course which answers every one of these questions. His goal was to make game hacking as easy as possible without the need to constantly ask questions and I think he's achieved that pretty well. The people that make tutorials there are very knowledgeable. It doesn't matter if you're a total beginner or a seasoned pro. They have tutorials for you. Got It Hacking has something to offer everyone. Games today are constantly evolving, so we have to learn to evolve with them. Whether you're interested in Android, Unity, Unreal Engine, or kernel drivers, they have tutorials on every topic. You can find my tutorials there as well as many other great game hacking instructors. All the closely guarded secrets most game hackers like keeping to themselves are available to you. Got It Hacking pulls the curtain back and opens the vault to let you in on all the treasures game hacking offers. Some of you may be hesitant because Got It Hacking is now a paid service, but you have to understand that GH is a massive educational resource, not a regular game hacking forum. If they took the game hacking bible and put it on Udemy, they could easily charge $100 for it. Just a small donation of $5, you'll get access to all these tutorials, and that is nothing in the grand scheme of things. If you're serious about learning game hacking, believe me, it is a great investment. Rake and I met five years ago, and we've always done our best to support each other, so please check them out if you haven't already. I promise you won't regret it. Also, when you get there, make sure to tell them that Chris Fate from Cheat the Game said hello. All right, I started a brand new game. I've already got, just want to get to a part where I got the weapon. So that's a little bit on in the beginning here. And I'm going to turn on my codes. I got infinite health, and here it locates my health address. I've also got the infinite uh, slowdown time. And uh, also I got stealth, cannot be seen by enemies. So what we're going to do is we're going to locate... Our XP and the trouble I was having is this when I come over here let's go to details <clears throat> our current XP is 30 so we're gonna start there but we have not gone up a level so we're still at level 1 so right now our XP this is our graphical XP but our also our internal XP is in sync with it as soon as we go up a level this graphical code is going to turn right back to zero again but our internal code is going to continue counting up and then it'll be a lot harder to find because we won't know we won't know exactly what it is so the best time to find it and the easiest way to find it is to start a brand new game when you can use exact value and that's why you want to start a new game so you can use exact value 
But the problem I was having was, you know, when you go to do skills and things like that, I cannot find the skill points. I've tried just about everything. I've tried inverting it. I've tried all kind of things. Uh, I've even tried Ultimat and still couldn't find it. And uh, hopefully sometime I can uh, do a bit on Ultimat. Uh, you have to have DBV import to work. You also have to have an Intel processor. So that's going to leave a lot of you out anyway. But, you know, hopefully we can uh, use Ultimap sometime in a vid. I just want to find something I can use it on. But anyway, getting back. So we got to figure out, if since I can't find skill points, what's another way I can affect these skill points? You know, and getting more skill points. And you got to figure out what affects skill points. Well, going up levels affects skill points. That's what gives it to you. Can I affect my levels? And the answer is yes. So we go back to details. We see we got 30. And uh, we're just going to go ahead, and usually you're going to find your skill points on a 4 byte. So that's what we're going to start out with. And then we're just going to go kill some enemies, uh, do some things to make our skill points go up, like right here. And we went up 20, but let's just make sure. We went up to 50. And we got several here. I believe one of these might be it because it is a 64-bit game it's been doing these a lot so let me just change one because I know it affects it when I go back out and back in so okay we know that first one wasn't it so let's try this one I believe it's one of these bigger addresses let's go back out and back in and take a look we affected our skill points so that's that's good and i do believe that's the internal now don't take that at face value when you're looking for it yourself that could just be the graphical you, you don't know but usually your internal and graphical something's constantly writing to your internal and your graph and something's constantly writing to the graphical that'll make it go back to what it was so don't take that take that as a grain of salt but we're going to see if we shoot another enemy, if it goes up beyond 100, then we know we got the right one. There's an enemy. I, I didn't see him. He scampered off. There's an enemy right there, so let's blow that up. Let's see what that did for us. That went up to 200 so you see that, that went up to 200 also so good we found it so we can also see what we need to get for it and we have to break that we can't equal it we have to go beyond it so I always remember that and leveling up you have to go beyond this value right here and that's usually in most games so what we need to do is see if we can find somewhere in memory that's being held and have it right to our internal current XP and that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, find out what accesses this address and go back to the game. And the good thing about it is that nothing is actually accessing it until it's actually changing. So that's another good thing. All right, good. Let's go back over here. And we see it went through several things. So what we want to do is we want to go through here. First off, let's find out what a thousand would be in hex. We know that's a thousand decimal. We have to break that thousand to go up a level. That's 3E8. So somewhere in the system, something has to be holding a 3E8. And that's what we want to find. So we're looking in here and nothing is there. And take a look we got RSI in this location right here so let's go to that location so we see things that are manipulating ESI right here but we know that it's holding that value so if we manipulate it right here before it gets to here we can have it break 1000 every single time we go up XP and just have it right 
like whatever the cap is plus one and that's what we're going to try to do and let's see if that works so what I want to do is I'm going to bring this back down to 30 and I'm going to go here and let's write a script and we're just going to write just a temp script and I'm just going to call this uh, level up and we know that RSI is holding that 1000 so right off the bat we want it to write and this is what our current internal XP would be so what we want to do is first off let's increase RSI that will increase it by one and what we want to do is move into this address whatever RSI is holding and we'll check back with it in just a minute just to make sure it's holding the next cap so really that's increasing it to 1001 and we're writing 1001 to there so by the time it gets to writing our address it'll hit that right compare that it needs to hit to go up a level so let's just see if that happens so let's assign that to the current cheat table we're going to call this uh, level up test because we're just testing things right now all right and this is what we want to pay attention to and this is our uh, internal XP and we know we got to break a thousand so let's move it over here where we can see it all right let's see if we can find another enemy Oh, there's one and I got my stealth on so he cannot see me all right it says killed 100 XP but let's go back and check and if you take a look it did but it did not go up a level so we need to see what's up with that Let's kill one more enemy just to see. Because it just now wrote it in there. Maybe we need to kill one more. I'll take a look. There it goes. So when it writes it into that the first time. When it writes it into that the first time. We got to do it again for it to hit where we need it to hit. So we may have to put this in another location. So, okay, so it's running this first, this second, so we need it to, we're going to have to kill an enemy twice, so we got to kill two enemies for it to go up, but that's about the best I can do, for right now anyway, and I got a, a speech thing coming up here, I'm going to uh, get past this uh, talking point, and then we're going to go find some more enemies, okay? All right, we're about to go kill some more enemies. I still got my stealth on, so they'll not be attacking. Because their detections are staying at zero. Here's one right here, I think. And it's, and it's still going up. You got to kill two enemies for it to go up. It still works. Okay. May have to work on that later, but look how much we went up. It's already, we got, it's already went up to there, so. Let's see if we can find another one. And look how quick that's going up. So really, we just label that fast level ups. Or faster level ups. There we go. And now we can go to the tab or the perks and we got our points and everything and we can go up better that way and possibly try to find it that way also because we've got more points to deal with.
I'm not really sure what to do there. But, you know, that that's another way. But that's what I want to get, reiterate to you is to please, when you go to try to find, and I get these questions a lot about going up levels and everything like that. I can't find it. I can't find it. Start a new game because that's usually the only time that your internal XP and your graphical XP will ever be in sync with each other. And you can find it really quickly, quickly with exact value. And that's what you want to try to do. Once you go up a level and you try to find XP then, then you're going to have to use unknown and, and it's trial and error after that. And it's a lot harder to find that way. So always try to find your save game and save a copy of it somewhere. Go start a new game. Then when you find XP, you can go back to your old save and then use your script from there. I know this is a quick one. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm still working on some stuff and... Uh, I just, you know, having very little time here and there. Work schedule has been a little more hectic here lately, which is, I guess, a good thing because, you know, money situations are pretty tight right now all across the world, really. But uh, I want to go ahead and thank my partners here at Cheat the Game. These guys keep Cheat the Game running. If it wasn't for these guys, I'd have to close up shop a long time ago. And it's because of these people that Cheat the Game is still here. I also want to thank all of you for coming out and watching these videos, placing a like on it. It really helps us out tremendously. It helps CTG out. You just come in here and help CTG out. And I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. But I'm gonna, I am got some more things in the works, and hopefully we can come out with some, uh, some new stuff here pretty soon. So keep your eye out. Go ahead and hit that sub button and notifications, and you'll be notified as soon as I upload something. And uh, I am still working on some stuff, and hopefully that'll be out very soon. All right, guys, you take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, it doesn't mind cheating you. You all take care now.